G'day guys, I'm Ryan Gula, and today I'm going to show you step by step how to do a flare. Yes! <laughs> that was awesome. Okay, so step one, you need to find out what ramp you're comfortable with. Um, I'm pretty comfortable on a bigger quarter pipe, so to me this is the easiest ramp to do a flare on. But for a lot of people, it's a five foot, six foot mini ramp. Um, for me, I find on a smaller ramp, I land more sideways or hit my back wheel and I end up sliding out. I have a hard time of pulling out. So for me, bigger quarter pipes just push you out. So to me, the bigger ones are the safest ones, but it's whatever you're comfortable with, really. Step two would be picking how fast you want to go. You don't want to be going full pelt at a ramp, but also you don't want to go under coping. People do, but you need to really yank out so you don't hit your head. Like, if I went to do a flare, I'd drop my shoulder, but my head comes back around towards the coping, and I would hate for my head to hit. So, for me, it's just like a three foot air. I know my head's gonna clear. I'm not real high, where if I pull out the flat, it's gonna hurt my ankles or wrists. It's just enough to get the rotation around and land it. But, sending a couple, you'll soon figure out how fast, if you need to go fast or slow, or whatever it is. Step three is you need to decide whether you want to carve one or straight up, straight down. Um, a lot of people nowadays just carve it, so it's more, more about dropping your shoulder instead of doing a full backflip. So I like to carve mine, but my reason for that is because I used to do it over the Beanley, Beanley hip. So I used to just flip this hip a bunch, and it's, that's pretty much like carving just over a hip. So coming into flares from jumping it, doing it on a hip just made sense to carve one instead of just ripping straight back on a backflip. For me, I air to the right, so what I'm going to do when I go up the lip is I'm going to drop my right shoulder. I'll uh, go up the transition with it, feel the coping, you want both wheels to hit the coping, that'll push you out just a little bit further, but my head stays in the ramp the whole time. I see the transition the whole time, I don't see like blue sky and then ramp, I just, I drop it and I'm just watching the ramp the whole time, so I know if I've pulled out to flat or if I'm in close. Landing this trick smoothly is a real hit and miss. It's um, how long you've been doing it, how many, how many times you try, and it's all trial and error. Like If you do a flare and you're landing dead flat, that just means you don't have to pull so much when you hit the coping. And then if you're not coming around, if your bike's just slamming into it or you're just not making it back into the ramp, you need to pull out harder. To get it smooth, if you're landing flat to get smooth, then just keep going higher. Like uh, It sounds weird, but like instead of using all that speed, to pull out, you need all that speed just to go up. I'll pretty much know when I'm on my way down from the rotation whether I need to put out the landing gear or if I'm just coming in double wheels already. When I was learning this trick, the problem that I had is I was landing backwards. I didn't have like where the air awareness to, to realize whereabouts I was to, to finish it and right away going this way. So I guess it's just trial and error of doing it, but uh, I would do a flip perfectly and for some reason I would just straighten up the other way. I would just get all disoriented from actually committing to the trick. But that's what you need to do to, to figure it out. You need to just send one and see what's wrong, watch a video or something, and be like, oh, I need to rotate more or whatever, and that's how you're gonna learn it. It's not the hardest trick. It's almost like after a while it starts feeling like a 360. So it's, it's pretty basic, but it, but it is a rotation that you need to figure out. Just like any other trick, this one takes time, but when you get it, it's such a fun trick. You can put it in almost anything. It's fun to do variations in this trick, so just get out there, have fun with it, and see you on the road.